well, it's very convenient. Um, if I'm feeling creative at any point or I want to record, I can do it whenever I like. So sure. if it's early hours of the evening, I could do it, or in the morning, afternoon. Yeah. I don't have to book the studio, I can just come in whenever I like. But, um, it's obviously a lot cheaper as well, which is, which is great. And so the quality you'll, you'll find in a professional studio of the equipment is it's likely to be a lot better than that in, in a home studio. Um, so, uh, and, and it's not only about the quality, it's also about the variety and the range. Oh, this is fantastic with the digital desk because it takes up a much, a much smaller footprint than the auditorium. And sat here in the stalls, it's a very expensive place to be. The, the seats here are, are very, uh, very valuable to us. So the less space we can take up, the better. And the digital desk allows us to have uh, lots of channels and a very small footprint. And also, uh, we don't have to have separate dynamics racks. So there's no, um, there's no racks full of EQ or... Mm -hmm. uh, so okay, it's compressed, it's all on board, so it takes up much less room. Uh, let's have a look at moving the microphone position and see what effect that has. My name is Blaine Price. I'm the course team chair of the Open University course, Computer Forensics and Investigations. I'd like to show you something I found on eBay last week. This is an ad for a memory stick containing the answers for upcoming Open University exams. I've heard that Crispin, one of our course managers, is selling things on eBay. So let's see if he's at his desk. He's there. Let's see if we can lure him away. The effect can be seen in both the preview window and the main image window so long as the preview tick box is selected. Let's now move the slider up to 50% again. I don't think that's quite enough of an effect so I think I'll move it to 100%. We can just see the difference that that has made by ticking the preview button off and on again. The very first thing I experienced that kind of led me to be interested in the problem of requirements was what I call here the napkin problem, and that a lot of the requirements for the systems we were uh, supposed to develop and we were supposed to architect and create came in the form of um, writings on a napkin from a lunch session or a coffee break with our bosses, and that was pretty much the degree of formalization or specifics we ever had. Corey Doctorow is a best-selling science fiction author, blogger, newspaper and magazine columnist, digital rights activist, and visiting senior lecturer at the Open University. 